Hi everybody. So today I have a haul from the Traveler's Company USA. So um, I don't know if a lot of people know, but Traveler's Company, or rather the Traveler's Notebook, aka Midori Traveler's Notebook, um, they have an actual website based here in the U.S. where you can order the products um, instead of like, you know, you could, or I mean, you can order it from Amazon, but there's certain things that Amazon doesn't carry that um, this site does. So it's travelerscompanyusa.com, okay? And I'm super excited that they had used the stamps, as you can see here, for Traveler's Company, just like they do in their stores in Japan. And I guess in the other locations, like, I don't know where, like Hong Kong, I think. Um, I don't know if they have in Singapore. Look at that. Have a safe, um, have a nice trip. Have a good day, good music, good coffee, and a good notebook. Traveler's Company USA. This must be a huge stamp <laughs> for them to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this on camera. So I also ordered this during Snowpocalypse because I just like, I need to spend some money. <laughs> yeah, right. So let me go ahead and take out the invoice first and put it aside. Look how nice, they paper clipped it. So this is my first time ordering from the website. Um, and it was pretty easy. They don't really carry like everything that Traveler's Company carries. But hey, you know, at least you can get the stuff that you would get if you went to the store. So they sent me their um, business card, okay? And then the Traveler's Times, which you can always get for free um, at the Traveler's, at the Traveler Company uh, store. When I went to the one in Narita Airport um, in 2019, I was able to pick up a couple of these and then send them to my friends. So this all has like, you know, um, some examples of people, um, the inserts that people have done, like this right here. Ah, oh, this is when they opened the shop in Kyoto. I cannot wait to go back. I wanna to go to the shop because I love the look of the, um, the special edition one for Kyoto, the Traveler's Notebook. So, and then you've got, some articles on um, the Traveler's Notebook. And these are the partner shops. So they do, you can, you can purchase in Madrid, Spain, in Portland, in Philadelphia, Toronto, and I guess there's more, but you would have to look it up on the website. Okay, so let's get to the actual stuff because I know that's what you guys want to see. So, I didn't, like I said, it wasn't a very big order. But, um, yeah, there are some things that I wanted to get because I know I can't get them elsewhere or elsewhere has them more expensive. So the first thing I have here is a passport size um, pencil board. And um, I just love the look of this one because it's green and, you know, it's just really pretty. And I do have a passport. I don't have the Traveler's Notebook passport, but I do have several passport um, Traveler's Notebooks faux traveler's notebooks so i wanted to have this whenever i feel the urge to write in my passport um, version so the next item right here is now i'm trying to remember what they call this let me look on the invoice this is the um, traveler's factory gift bag in the regular size now i did order the regular size and um, i'm sorry and also i think i ordered the passport size too so this is another way to store your traveler's notebooks. You can carry it in this canvas bag. So as you can see, I'm going to zoom in here, move it up, okay, and focus. So with books in your traveler's notebook, you can travel anywhere at any time. Um, yeah, it's just canvas cloth, okay. Um, it's just really cute to put your, you know, like I said, your Traveler's Notebook in it and um, some of your other stuff. I plan on using this so that when um, I do travel, I can put all of the things that I pick up that I'm going to use in the Traveler's Notebook. For instance, like brochures, um, newspapers, if I fold them up, 
business cards, um, postcards, you know, receipts, ticket stubs, things like that. Oh, and of course, um, also like stamped images, like when I was in Japan, if you go to like um, the bus, uh, the, like the sub, well not the subway, the train station, um, when we went to like the rest stops, the in um, on the highway, all of them had their own stamp, you know, that you could um, you could stamp in a notebook, and people would actually collect these stamps all over the country. So those are the kinds of things that I was collecting when I went to Japan, and that's what I plan on doing again the next time I travel. It doesn't matter; it doesn't have to necessarily be Japan, um, but yeah. So then this is the. Um, well, I don't think it's the passport necessarily. This is still also, yeah, it does say passport, but it looks like it could fit the regular size too. Yeah, um, so this is another bag. I got the the one that was pre the previous year to this. Um, and it's just a drawstring bag. It's really good, like I said, to protect your, uh, you know, your traveler's notebook. Um, so that when I throw up my bag, you know, it doesn't get um, scratched up and stuff. So it says, with books in your traveler's notebook, you can travel the world. Okay, so, uh, The Moon and Sixpence, Ventures of Huckleberry Finn, Treasure Island. Uh, I don't know what that says because that's in, I want to say French. But anyways, so yeah, so I picked this up. Let's see. And then the last thing I got was this pencil board also for the traveler's notebook i i have the uh yeah the 2019 so i think this is the 2020 and i just love this one because um it's blue and brown and i just like the whole theme to it so yep so that is what i picked up a very very like i said small haul from the traveler's company or the travels traveler's factory so i hope you enjoyed this haul all right, so I hope you guys are having a good week. Bye.